happy morning. It's our day to video today. Okay, we are gonna go to Matsunio today. And the plan originally was that Snow is gonna hang out at our campsite here at the beach in Puta Uva. But you can see what happened. A party bus rolled in. Selfies are being taken. <laughs> it is only 8.40. And these people are down to party. But the music is, I don't know. I mean, it's just like off a beat. It's like, it's like wannabe Caribbean music. I don't know what it is, but with it's the, with really <laughs> annoying music. It's just crazy. It's a crazy genre of music. So <laughs> Snow has decided to come with us to Montanillo. We're gonna just all caravan down there. Yeah, this morning I woke up, I had to find a bathroom, go over here, and the silver lining was I saw some animals, saw these little, or like a huge mouse called a guti or paca. I haven't seen one since Honduras, I think. You'll probably see that in our Honduras video. But it was fun to see those guys. And today we should see a lot more animals. Sloths, monkeys. If we can get in the water there at Manzanillo, hopefully we'll see some really impressive animals. Whenever you guys are ready, all you gotta do is back out. And I guess we'll follow you down to the park. Okay. Goodbye party spot. Look at this party bus that pulled up next to Snow and Kurt. Imperial is flowing in the morning for these ones. Good for them. Okay, so we haven't heard the van make that crazy noise we heard yesterday. Yesterday, I was driving right over here, and we heard a metallic noise yeah. like that. And there was a table that was falling down in the trunk. The thing is, Yeah, we haven't heard the noise. I think that maybe it fixed itself. Maybe it's a circumstantial noise. I don't know. So our last hike, we were pretty hungry. So this hike, I'm definitely gonna pack some PBJs for us. We usually bring PBJs on long hikes because they're super easy to make. They're vegan. We also reuse all of our bags. So this is gonna go into a burrito, or a tortilla bag. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll have to pack Graham too then. Listen my boy. Are you my good little boy? Boy. All right, we're packing the bag. We got the water bottle. Wallet, underwater camera, snorkel, bathing suits, sunscreen, PB and J's, nice camera, and it's all gonna fit into the dry bag. Well, unfortunately, none of the national parks in Costa Rica allow pets, but we're leaving these guys here with the dual fans, bringing in some air. With this fan here, auxiliary. That's a DC fan. And we're in the shade. Parked in the shade. And we got the window covers up to keep it nice and cool in here. But I left one window cover off so that somebody that can see snow. And G, and then. Oh, baby. We'll be right back, my love. Why not, Chica? Second here, I go to move the water bowl, fill it up, and it looks like there was a crab underneath it. You get a crab in here. And you put the water bowl outside, didn't you? I did put the water bowl outside, but how are you gonna get that crab out of here? <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. No, don't eat. Oh my gosh, this is insane. I hope that he's under there. Is there any more crabs in here? <laughs> you just gotta sweep them out. Oh my god. Ah! Get out of here, freeloader! So here we go, entering Manzanillo National Park. Crossing this river first off. Looks like another river that's really stained by tannins. So, not gonna 
do any snorkeling near the mouth of this one, but up ahead we checked out the Google satellite view scope where there might be some good snorkeling. So basically there's just two options here. You go along the beach or you can head inland. We're gonna go along the beach. Well, tell you guys the story. I came here 10 years ago. I remember it just being a beautiful beach. It was with my friend Stefan. We drove around Costa Rica and checked out a ton of it. But with the van, you're able to really go in depth and see a place and learn about it on another level. It's, it's really awesome to just have more time in a place. But I remember being here and there was a raccoon that all the tourists were taking pictures of. I thought, whatever, it's just a raccoon. <laughs> but honestly, the wild raccoons are really cool creatures. And we've just had our first animal sighting some howler monkeys, I'm sorry, spider monkeys, way off in the distance though. But now we're getting closer to them. Let's see if I can get a shot. So when we were on the CK hike, there was another uh, little tombstone grave, and I think this guy is from the same family. Pretty wild. We are coming up to a viewpoint. Mirador. Wow. Oh, it's a, it's a little bridge. This is going to be nice. This is one of those beautiful sites that's known for Manzanilla, this little island. Beautiful little tree. Looks like you could surf here, but there's definitely a coral reef below. Muddy, 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 muddy. Very, very muddy. Whoa, yeah. That is a lot of mud. <laughs> right, this looks like a crazy, crazy muddy mess. Not this sure where we're supposed to go. Is 100% a muddy, swampy disaster. At least the fire ants can't get us if we're walking I in think, mud, right? <laughs> I think we can maybe skirt around the beach, maybe. Can we get a little elevation? Yeah, okay. What do you think? I'm feeling the beach now. <laughs> I gotta wash off my feet at least. Pick your poison. Well, definitely all of a sudden became a cliff right here, so I don't know where we're gonna go. I'm gonna wash off my feet. That is one muddy mud pile. Oh my. Out and grab a shoe out of there. Oh my Whoa. gosh. Oh no, I've got an ant on my foot. Ah, this is definitely changing from type one to type two fun. Really tough slog through the mud here. What kind of animal was this? Dogs aren't permitted in the park, so. Jaguar. Wow, this park sure has a lot of little nooks and crannies to discover. I think over here, these people are in a sea cave. We'll go check out next. Here, we're coming up to the sea cave.
Oh yeah, it took some planning, but we got across there, and here is the cave. Pretty sweet. And that goes down to the water there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, that's crazy. What? That looks scary, huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh, but I love the top. Nervous going through that. Yeah, Kurt. But definitely, this is the trail over here. So, wow, is that oh, here's a pretty crazy ant nest. Whoa, Ooh, that's sharp. So too. many wild trees in Costa Rica. That is a sharp, sharp tree. Wow, this park is muddy today. Look at all this. And we're basically gonna have to slog all the way back. Looks like I'm buying the drinks. I fell down first. <laughs> well, Kurt found another one of those spiky trees up close. Let's see the shoot. red dots. Shoot, shoot, oh, shoot. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. These are little uh, splinters from it. Oh my gosh. You can see them starting to kind of come out. Well, those are pretty sharp. All right, well, so we're just sloshing through now because at least it's not like, oh, <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> At least it's not um, uphill anymore. So we're basically just sloshing through this like calf deep. Well, for me, calf deep. For everyone else, it's probably ankle deep. Oh, my shoe is stuck. Okay, I really don't understand why anyone would call that a, a pass. Oh no, I lost my shoe. Whoa, what happened there, Emily? Yeah, my foot just slipped right out of my shoe. Ugh, this is, now I understand why there's a billion shower places out front of this national park. Wow, so me and Emily making good time over here. This trail that is not muddy. Kurt's on the main trail, slogging through. But wow, this national park is pretty wild. And you can definitely find some wildlife, some beautiful beaches. But, yeah, maybe I should have asked the park rangers a little advice. Seems like we're a little bit lost. I mean, we did lose Kurt. We have no idea where Kurt is. We are just running. I'm just trying to get out of this park. There's enormous spiders. It is pretty crazy. It's beautiful though. Okay, so we headed towards the beach and I think we're about to come up on the real trail. What a crazy trail we accidentally found ourselves on. Oh good, signs of life, tires. So we're back to the little viewpoint. That was a little crazy. Whoa, we did it. We did so it. Hopefully Kurt isn't waiting out there in the mud somewhere. I figure he's a smart guy. No, he's a smart so, guy. He's a, he's about at the van taking a shower already. From our crazy out off-roading. <laughs> Didn't leave Danny too bad. I'm a little bit muddy. I think the shower is in order for me. There's our- Oh, there he is. He's 
washing off all that dirt like we were about to do. Yo, okay. Survival run. Yeah. I just stopped worrying about my footing and I just put one foot in front of the other. Wherever it sunk to, that's what happened. I was in water knee deep. Seems like we all agree that was definitely <laughs> type two fun there. And uh, I think we're gonna call it good on the, that was the mud hikes for uh, probably a couple weeks. But you know what, we made it out of there. Calling it quits. That was a crazy trail. We don't really want to go any farther. So Kurt and I are going back to the vans. Danny's going on a crazy, it might not be crazy, but it's crazy for me. <laughs> Emily and Kurt decided that was a little intense and they want to go take a break in the vans. Here I'm finding this other side trail now. You see right off the bat, a huge spider. Ooh, he's moving. This part of the park is called Hidden Bridge, Puente Escondido, and you'll notice it is super muddy down there. There's a hole in the bridge there. Wow, not only a cluster of flies that I'm gonna walk through here, but one of the plumpest looking spiders I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so now this is the trail. Wow, definitely gaining some altitude headed away from the beach. I guess it must have been that 10 years ago, Stefan and I went to Kawita National Park because that looked just like I remember. <laughs> and here is just a stone's throw away, but quite a different experience. Well, I am quite fond of finding where the end of the road is, but this is starting to go downhill. The other side of a hill getting muddy again. And I think I'm gonna turn back a bit anticlimactic, but I'm looking forward to the swim when I get back over there. Maybe a bit of a snorkel. And... and wow, this is the only other trail here which Chris crosses. And Kurt came out through here. He said he was walking in knee deep water. Back to the entrance of the park, Van Ho. Okay, well, it looks like we're heading back to the same area, like the best campsite ever, back to that area. And we should be able to go snorkeling over there. It's a beautiful sunny day. Yeah, I want to do a little snorkeling. Hopefully catch another fish. Guys, in the shower? I already showered this week, thanks. Oh, you're good there. <laughs> well, one solid positive today is it is beautiful out. Not like yesterday. Should be really nice. We found a spot. We are parked the wrong way right now, but we need some solar, so it would be nice to leave the van parked like this, and then later on we'll flip it. So we got Kurt over here gonna try and get a couple coconuts for us again and then we have Danny with this long 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 clothesline line so that we can dry some of our stuff that we just walked through that muddy muddy trail in looks like it's gonna work Kurt's trying a new method he's got the spear gun now Coconut King with another killing. That's gonna drag me. <laughs> definitely learned some lessons last time. We learned that Kurt is the man with the coconut machete. Alright, well how is it out there? You were snorkeling already? Yeah, visibility's not great today after that storm yesterday, but 
I was exploring around in the water, it was fun still, you know, but chances of finding a mega fish like I did the other day are pretty low today. <laughs> At least we still got to eat some coconut, we're we still living coconuts. off the land. <laughs> I'm Coco Loco. Graham. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a swim. Later. Bye! My puppy right here. I got my view. jump back into the van but he always loves to munch on some grass this party place is starting to clear out maybe we can get our old spot back wow van friends walking the cats Priceless. Two vans. Four animals. What do you think, eh? Wow, I love their little harnesses. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Yeah. Man, this is pink. There's oh. just, you know, a little princess. That's so good they don't come off. Experiment with a few for G. Oh, yeah. What? So they just walk around like they know each other and yeah. they just have a good time outside. That's so great. What? Is he gonna eat some grass like my cat? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. He's yeah. looking for some grass to eat. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's a panther. Wow. It's he a is tiger. So proud, Annie. The snow is leopard. He, is he tight? That's awesome to see, but we're not gonna get Graham out yet. No, no, not yet. But they are very cute on their leash. Hopefully leaves. one day. Oh my gosh. Kind of a crazy hike this morning, wandering through all those mud puddles. But we've mellowed out. We're feeling really relaxed now. I think we're gonna close up for the night. We'll see you guys tomorrow over on Snow and Kurt's channel. Yeah. <laughs>